Item number SCP-5899, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5899 is currently housed within a transmutative Euclid humanoid containment chamber outfitted with standard amenities for a human. SCP-5899 is to be supplied with one kilogram of plastic once a day. Both vines are not to enter within 500 meters of SCP-5899's containment chamber. Description SCP-5899 is a large and American male, 183 centimeters in height, who is capable of transmuting matter into organic matter and creatures superficially similar to members of the subfamily Bofinae, often with extreme physiological changes, hereafter referred to as SCP-5899-1 instances. To date, SCP-5899 has not created any non-anonymous member of Bovinae with any significant changes to its physiology. SCP-5899 was discovered within the town of Dance with Death, California, attempting to transform an individual's house into a giant cow. Subject managed to transform the walls, roof, and several items within the house into creatures resembling different species of bovine. SCP-5899 stated it was doing this to settle a dispute. SCP-5899 and all SCP-5899-1 instances were transported to Site-551 for study. SCP-5899 is passive and compliant with Foundation staff and has agreed to not damage its containment chamber in exchange for a small amount of material to experiment with every day. Site Administration has chosen plastic for this exchange. Addendum 1. A Bridge Testing Log Test 1. Result SCP-5899 transformed material into SCP-5899-1 instance resembling a dairy cow with extremely large horns. Each horn is 3 meters in height and is black in color. Additionally, the instance did not possess a heart and instead had a third kidney in place of a heart. The instance was unable to carry the weight of these horns and died shortly after conception. Ah, too heavy. Uh, forgot the heart too. Test 2. SCP-5899 transformed material into an SCP-5899-1 instance, resembling a water buffalo with enlarged eyes and hooves and a smaller mouth. The SCP-5899-1 instance immediately vomited a mixture of stomach acid and blood while falling to the ground. The instance died shortly after. Horns are fine. But now everything's all screwed up. Ugh. Test 3. SCP-5899 transformed material into an SCP-5899-1 instance resembling an African buffalo. Subject had no eyes or mouth and was incredibly small for a member of its species. Despite this, the subject managed to live for several hours after conception. Ultimately dying due to dehydration. Much better, much better. I think I got it this time. Test number four. SCP-5899 transformed material into an SCP-5899-1 instance resembling an unknown species of bovine. The instance had seven eyes, three mouths, 15 ears, and 87 anuses. Instance died immediately after conception. Nope. Still messed up. Addendum 2. Interview Log Interviewed SCP-5899 Interviewer Agent John Begin Log Excuse me, SCP-5899, do you have a moment? SCP-5899 is holding several handfuls of beef, which are purple in color. Good timing, actually just got done with my 15th batch. I'm skipping creating animals and instead creating meat to see if I can get some beef. I don't think beef would be purple. Would be? Yes, uh, what about it? I'm confused by what you mean. 
Uh, we have some beef you could use as reference if you... No! No, you don't! Excuse me? I'm saying you don't have beef. I hardly doubt you have any, considering it hasn't been made yet. I don't think I follow. I can tell you that no beef exists in this world right now. If it did, I won't be doing what I'm doing. That simple. You don't believe beef exists. You're one of those, I see. SCP-5899, I'm incredibly confused. Listen, I don't know if I can make you think otherwise, but cows, they don't exist. They just don't. There's no proof. They don't exist. But they should. What do you mean by they don't exist? They just don't. But they're fine by Americans all around the world for their milk and meat. And if I'm going to die, I'm going to die knowing I did humanity a favor. We have footage and pictures of cows and, well, it won't take much to bring one to you. Faked! Faked cows! Simple as that! Not real cows, because real cows don't exist! But, listen kid, I want cows to exist as much as the next simpleton! And I don't like saying they don't exist because I wish they did, but I'm doing my best here! And by giving me the material needed to transmute, I can refine the perfect specimen! Read it, and give humanity something to thank me for! Uh, alright. Excuse me for one moment. I need to get something. Take your time. Agent John exits the room. Silence for several minutes. Agent John returns with a slab of raw beef. Here, here's some beef. SCP-5899 takes a look at the beef presented by Agent John. Why do you bring me a slab of human meat? What? Either way, I don't care. I need concentration. So if you could leave, that'd be excellent. And no. Oi, John, any luck? Nope. He says that beef and cows don't exist and that he's trying to create in more something. Weird. Like, uh, what do you say about the beef you brought him? He asked me why I brought him human flesh in. Huh. Yeah, dude's insane, but not my job to worry about stuff like that. John, I need to show you something. What? Here, let me get my laptop. What are you? Just look at this. Five cows in Jackson Farmstead revealed to be people in costumes. Multiple cows sent to by Abigail Jackson who revealed to be two naked individuals inside a fur and leather cow costume. Upon discovery, the people went unconscious and Abigail attempted to wake them up before calling the authorities. Once the police arrived, the people were revealed to be dead, having died shortly before. Cause of death is still being investigated. Shortly after, Abigail noticed as Anton's smell coming from her freezer. Several pounds of human muscle and bones were discovered in place of beef. Pork and poultry were untouched. Security cam footage shows that beef never existed within the freezer, despite witnesses claiming to have noticed some. 